the Takano teaching basic fast jet training. Well, we've actually shortened the show slightly. We've missed out one manoeuvre from our first part, and we're going to go into our... split down into sections of two to seven aircraft for some even more dynamic flying. Front left, you see a shape known as Dagger. Fred's one to five at the front, called Enid. Red six to nine at the back, are called Jippo. Cameras ready, we start the second part of the display with the detonator. Now go Enid, keep your eyes on the coloured smoke of Jippo. synchro pair as they perform dairy patterns. They've pitched up now to around 1,200 feet. They're using full power, max performing the aircraft back towards us. They now start descending to just 100 feet above 150 miles an hour. This is the synchro pair getting ready for their first opposition maneuver. Get your cameras ready for the opposition. Pilots works very hard. Their hearts have dropped three centimeters of their bodies at 6G. The blood wants to... They're tightening their thighs to fight the G-force as they fly the cyclone. Pitching up with some white smoke on is Red Six, who's the leader of the Synchro Pair. He's Flight Lieutenant Steve Morris. Steve is in fact in his fourth. He's a former Hawk instructor, and then moved on to fly the Harrier GR9, then the Tornado GR4 before Looking lower is Red Seven, full power, cutting the corner, trying to reach. Above the control tower, you see seven headlights. Patriotic now everybody, it's the Queen's birthday. Let's have a huge round of applause. For Great Britain and Her Majesty the Queen! British moment with that red, white and blue stripe moving over to our left 45. Now look to your right hand side and pick up the synchro pair as they descend down the line to 200 feet. Here this is the shotgun. Shotgun there with red six and seven rolling. Different times as they flew that shotgun maneuver. Bring your eyes further left to find Enid being joined by. With the red smoke, red four and five with the blue smoke. They're about to change to white smoke as they fly the revolution. Those 
sets of three, each of the players prefer control column input which rolls the aircraft very rapidly around its longitudinal axis. Now looking straight ahead, above the hangars now, you'll see three lots of smoke. This is red six, seven and nine. And nine. Oh, red seven and nine start to roll around red six. This is the... with the white smoke flags and Joe Hurston, a third and final year pilot with the team. The Cinco pair remain with us, left and right. This year, we've changed the name of this manoeuvre in honour of an aviation legend. Chap was a Royal Naval test pilot and fighter pilot in the Second World War. He's actually a world record holder. He's flown 487 different types of aircraft. Sadly, Eric died earlier this year in honour of this the Winkle Rolls. Looking now above the control tower, you Enid over to the right, 45, 1, 2, 3. smoke on there is Red 4, the flight attendant Mike Bowden. Mike's in his second year as a Red Aries pilot. He's a former Hawk instructor, Harrier GR9, GR4 before joining the Red Arrows. That's him switching his red smoke to white as he finishes his in the twister manoeuvre. Bring your eyes further left now to find Red 6 to 9 or Jippo formation. Red 7 there is joining in. They're about to put their smoke on. On comes their smoke to the left-hand side. Red six and seven now roll upside down in close. Eight and nine are flying directly underneath them as they come past from the left in mirror. The radio we use when one section is performing, the other section have to use the radio but can't speak to talk on the other section, so they press a button in the copper which produces that tone. Look left now to find the five. Fabulous, colourful rollbacks finish down to the right. Bring your eyes further. <laughs> On comes their smoke. <laughs> Once again, six and seven go upside down. Red 6 sounding very excited there as he calls 8-9 to roll in the corkscrew. Oh, 